It is time for Patel It Like It Is, where Dr. Alok Patel shares health advice on the topics that matter most to you. Today, we're talking about the Mediterranean diet, emphasizing plant-based foods, plant-based foods, excuse me, and healthy fats. Here's Dr. Patel with more. You know how many times I've been told that I have the body of a Greek god? Zero. That's not the point. The point is I'm inspired by the original fitness influencers, their lifestyle and their diet. And they got me thinking about the Mediterranean diet. You've probably seen headlines about how healthy it is. So let's talk about what the Mediterranean diet actually is and what the benefits are for us normal people. The term Mediterranean diet first appeared in the 1950s when researchers noticed people living around the Mediterranean Sea, like Southern Italy, had better overall health compared to people living in other countries. They praised their lifestyle, social structures, and diet. The Mediterranean diet is almost like a geographic and historical lesson on what people in the region ate. The diet is plant-based, consisting mostly of whole grains, fruits, veggies, beans, legumes, and healthy fats, mostly from olive oil, but also from avocados, nuts, and fish. And speaking of fish, that's the preferred protein source with the recommendation to cut down on red meat. And the health benefits? There are plenty. The American Heart Association credits the diet as a way to prevent heart disease and stroke by reducing risk factors such as obesity, hypertension, and diabetes. You may have also seen recent headlines such as the diet's ability to cut the risk of heart disease in women by 25% and the risk of dementia by 23%. If you're still not convinced for some reason, but hey, I appreciate a skeptic, experts consistently rank the Mediterranean diet as one of the best because it's filled with nutrient-rich foods, it's family-friendly, it's easy to maintain, and you can still have some of your favorite snacks in moderation. This isn't a crash or fad diet, it's more of a lifestyle change. So all you gods and goddesses, load up your plate with foods like orzo, falafel, salmon, hummus, shakshuka, tabbouleh, all that deliciousness, and your body from head to toe, well, thank you. And Dr. Alok Patel joins me live now to tell us like it is. Uh, Dr. Patel, you say the Mediterranean diet is beneficial not only because of what you're eating, but also what you're not eating. What do you mean by that? Well, it's not really me saying that, Diane. This is based on so much random clinical, clinical trial data, epidemiologic studies showing that it's not necessarily removing unhealthy foods. It's also making sure that you're taking in a diet that is rich in nutrients. And this is why the Mediterranean diet has many heart healthy benefits. It can actually cut down on primary and secondary risk factors leading to chronic disease. And some of these include the ability to lower bad cholesterol, improve blood pressure, reducing your risk of obesity, blood sugar control. And like I mentioned, filling your plate with those foods that are high in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. And Diane, this diet has been shown to not only reduce the risk of heart disease, 30% reduction in death rates from stroke, long-term protection about near cognitive disease, kidney disease, lung disease, certain types of cancer. By researching this story, I myself became hooked. That's how beneficial this diet can be. Uh, you mentioned that this is more of a lifestyle than a diet. What's the difference and what's the easiest way to incorporate this into our daily lives? By lifestyle, what experts say about this diet is it's a different way of looking at your plate rather than thinking about this as an elimination diet. This is why agencies like the CDC, the USDA, and the American Heart Association call it eating patterns. The Mediterranean diet is not overly restrictive. It can be modified to fit your specific taste. It's affordable, it's family friendly. Now, Diane, in terms of sticking with the diet and having it be fun for you, look at your local options. Make sure you can cater to something that's convenient, easy to cook, that's fun for you, the kids, all of it. Because the truth is, the trick to these diets is being able to stick with it for long term and looking at it as more of a habit change. Research shows that when people take on a diet for weight loss, which isn't always healthy, they will regain more than half the weight they lost in about two years, 80% after five years. So you wanna pick something and stick with it that you can enjoy for a long period of time to get those maximum benefits. Now, it's not just diet though that has certain areas of the Mediterranean living longer and living healthier lives. So what's the rest of the secret in these regions? You know, this is fascinating because researchers have been looking at this since the 50s and wondering how and why people in certain areas such as southern Italy and Greece live such long lives. 
And what some of the data suggests is that it comes down to factors such as daily movement, whether that is a hobby or gardening, having purpose in your life, purpose takes on many forms, managing stress. They have happy hour in Greece. They take naps in Italy, great things. Stress management, we know stress contributes to a lot of disease, family, friends, and faith, and of course, diet. And you know, Diane, I'm not a fan of telling people out there, find a way to make sure you don't age, anti-age. Age gracefully and reduce your risk of chronic disease by following all these tenets, which as the young kids say, help you live your best life. Also, fun fact, the Mediterranean diet has been linked to better sleep quality and better sleep duration. So another reason to incorporate this all. Dr. Patel, thank you. And again, Dr. Patel is here to take your question. So leave us a message on our Instagram feed at ABC News Live, and he just might answer your question right here on Friday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.